The past is not lost. The past lives inside us. Encoded in the double helix are the experiences of our ancestors. After three decades of research, our engineers have forged the cutting edge of biotechnological interfaces. We have unlocked the lives of our forebears. We have opened a window into the past. This is Total Immersion Entertainment. With the press of a button, you will experience the most pivotal moments in history. All from the comfort of home. Welcome to Helix, where the past is your playground. Who goes there? A friend of the temple. Fluarak, the council's message was absolute. You're not welcome here. I must speak with the Grand Master. He's in session. They all are. Another day, perhaps. King Philip disagrees. Damn you, man. Why you're not rotting in a cell at this moment, I cannot fathom. We are betrayed! Draw your swords, men! Defend the temple! Not you, brother. I have a different task for you. Come with me. We will not prevail this night, but if you make haste, we may yet save our order. What must I do? Go to the tower. Take the sword and the book. Hide them! They must not fall into the assassin's hands! Grandmaster, no! I Hold the bridge! Hold! Damn! I have to take a different way. Clement, hear me? Before this year is out, you will answer for your crimes before God Almighty! And you, King Philip, no punishment is too heinous for the great evil you have inflicted upon the temple! I curse you! Curse you to the thirteenth generation of your blood! 
Consumed in flames of hunger and wrath, thus came the age of true wisdom to a blistering close. The Knights Templar, once the proud shepherds of order, peace, and illumination, were no more. Yeah, let's get a sniffer running. If Abstergo pings us, pull me out. Okay. I have a visual. Hey there. This is probably disorienting, so I'll be brief. I'm Bishop, not my real name, obviously, but that's as much as you'll get today. Please listen carefully. Abstergo is using you, hijacking your neurons to help them sift through genetic memory data. These guys don't have their fingers in countless corporations, governments, media outlets, and NGOs. But now, they want control over history itself. If that doesn't frighten you, it should. But we're here to stop them, and I need your help. Deacon, preload gene sequence, uh, AD16, B13, I87. Yep, spooling it up. Last week, we gained access to a bank of unsequenced memories in Abstergo's Helix servers. For now, we'd like you to experience a small sample. This should help you understand our struggle. And after that, you can decide for yourself what comes next. We'll be waiting. Arno. Can't I go with you, father? Courage, my boy. You wait just here. I will return when this hand reaches the top. That's forever. Not as long as all that. And when I get back, we'll see the fireworks. And Arno, no exploring, hmm? Yes, father. when we stole those apples. <laughs> I'm Arno. Elise. I'm here with my father. So am I. He has important business with the king. What should we do now? Shh. Listen. Don't worry. They'll never think to look for us in here. It was my fault. I'm the one who took the apple. Let's see where they're going. Monsieur Franklin, I Keep sincerely up. hope this unfortunate affair does not darken your opinion of our nation. Monsieur, if we judge nations by the character of the Father, we should all be called. Come here, girls, now. Father? Can 
went fairly at cards, so you stooped to thieving, you bastard! Calm down, Victor. I've only come for my watch. It's my watch. I want it fairly. Well, in a just world, Victor, I would agree with you, but this is not a just world. This is France. You're a dead man! Ooh, step lightly there, you'll hurt yourself. <laughs> Just had a nice chat with your brother. You go. Fetch the marshals. Hold on a minute. Big headed blacksmith like you probably can't even read a watch. Come over here and say that. Uh, no. And where in God's name have you been? Ha! Huh. Got you now, you little shit. Just a little misunderstanding, nothing to... Your master's arbor in a common criminal. In broad daylight, he broke into my home and stole my watch. Did he indeed? Well, I'm sure the Marshal C would be more than willing to sort this out. Sort what out, Olivier? Uh, a most serious accusation against your ward, sir. He robbed me. <laughs> of what, precisely? Wait for me in my library. Don't give me that look. Victor cheats when he plays Pharaoh. Everyone knows it. Arno, who are you talking to? No one, monsieur. You'll be happy to learn I persuaded Olivier to leave off calling the Marshalsea. Again. Je vous remercie, monsieur. What is this? The sixth time? The seventh? Perhaps a new hobby might be better for your health. Well, I find playing cards affords many opportunities for fresh air and exercise. <laughs> we'll talk about this later. I have business in town and must collect Elise before I can attend to it. Elise is here. Only for the night. She returns to Paris first thing tomorrow. She'll need an escort. Won't she, with you so preoccupied? One of you running a mock is quite enough. Remain here and see if Olivier has any chores for you. I'm sure he does. What was that? Give my regards to Elise. Thrown out onto the street yet? Oh, you would love that, wouldn't you? It'd break my heart. Olivier, if I weren't here, who'd do all your work for you? The horses need brushing, boy. Get to it. Certainement, monsieur. Wait! Some trouble, mon ami. A letter for Sir de la Serre. It's very important. Oh, calm yourself, Perrault. That letter won't reach Monsieur de la Serre any faster if you drop dead of exhaustion. Give it here. I'll catch you. You must receive it today. It's very... Very important. Yes, I heard you the first time. I'll see that he gets it. Please excuse on carriage. What I need is a bird's eye view. Finally. Not these two again. Must have tailed me from the estate. So, who or what will take its place? Another king? A council of capable men? That is the question, isn't it? A truce, then. What the devil was that about? Oh! 
Now, now, we can resolve this without recourse to violence, can't we? Get him, Hugo! I suppose not. Not your day, is it, Victor? To your health, gentlemen. You, boy, stop! What are you doing there? Uh, running. Bonsoir, Olivier. Has Monsieur de la Serre returned? Seigneur de la Serre is not expected until late. Ah, well. I suppose I'll just pass the time with Elise, then. Don't get your hopes up just yet. Mademoiselle is at a private soiree, in her honor, at the palace. A party? I wasn't invited. Neither were the horses. <laughs> I'm sure she just misplaced my invitation. I'll find my own way in. Ah, uh, how late is late? Perhaps an hour, perhaps three, perhaps not at all. I do not question the comings and goings of my betters. I'll just wait here, then. Safe and sound, and only slightly delayed. And now, to the palace. Ugh. I couldn't sneak through a sewer in these threads, much less a ball. Here, here, mon ami. Let me take care of that. Uh, well, thank you, young man. Maximilien Robespierre. No guest. Arno. Le Chevalier du Telem. Invitation, s'il vous plaît. About that, I had one, of course, but on the way. No invitation, no admittance. Now clear the queue. Next, please. Charles Gabriel Sivet. Two guests. Next, please. You up there! Stop! Get down! Will you let me back in if I do? What? Certainly not! Well then, if it's all the same to you, I think I'll stay up here. Merci. Un autre jour. You seem to have caused quite a commotion. Well, what can I say? You were always a bad influence. Oh, you were a worse one. My father's suit. <laughs> Are you wearing a dress? You don't even start. I feel like a mummy wrapped up in this thing. Must be quite an occasion to get you so fancy. It's not like that. Truth be told, it's a lot of ceremony and pontification. Dull as dirt. Well, when you don't invite me to your parties, everyone suffers. I did try, but my father was adamant. Your father? Who's in there? <laughs> Go. I'll distract them. What? You're kicking me out? It's Complicated. I'll explain later, but for now, out the window. Oh, no, no, no. You're not turning this into a repeat of that apple old show. Stop being such a baby. I'm sure there aren't any guard dogs this time. <laughs> Go! You're right, monsieur. Too much of the king's champagne. Monsieur. Monsieur de la Serre! Monsieur de la Serre! Come away! Guards! Help! Murder! Oh, Dieu! Is 
killed Lord de la Serre. No, it, it wasn't me. Damn it, I wielded the knife. Please, have mercy. Gallia est omnis divisa in partes tres. They're killing us! Oh, God, have mercy! They're killing the prisoners in here! That's enough of that, you degenerate! <laughs> Where am I? In hell. Where'd you come by this, Pisspot? I'm in no mood for this. Give it back! Take it back. If you think you can. Ah. Well struck, Pisspot. Give me what's mine, and go back to your crazy drawings, old man. Drawings? Bees here. Everywhere. Scribbled like chicken scratches all over this cell. Where? where? Come here, you little piss pot. Get your hands off me. Look at the wall. What are you doing? Concentrate. Concentrate. What are they? Messages from the past. I had myself thrown into after prisons in Paris in search of these. What's your name, boy? Arno. Arno Victor Dorian. Dorian. <laughs> of course. Pierre Belek. I knew your father. Bully for you. He died at Versailles. In what? 76? 77. December, as I recall, no witnesses. How did you... Your father was an assassin, Arno. He gave his life fighting for the liberty of all mankind. You stick with me, you might just live long enough to join the Brotherhood. Honor your father's memory. <laughs> Listen, I'm sure your little cult is a delightful bunch, but I'm not interested. The only thing I care about is finding Elise. How are you planning on doing that from in here? Citizens are restless. 
Keep an ear open, opportunity might just come knocking soon. That was cannon fire. Sometimes opportunity sounds a lot like cannon fire. Secure the prisoners. Follow my lead. What are you waiting for, Pisspot? It's time to jump. What? Prison scrambled your brains, old man. Drink took care of that a long time ago. Now get up there! I can't! That's impossible! Impossible? That's the purview of every assassin boy! You can pluck your head out of your own arts. Come find us! You'd make a great fit. Goodbye, piss pot! You! Back away from the ledge! Some welcome. One can't be too careful. Not after what happened. Elise, I've... Haven't you done enough to repay my father's kindness? Elise, please. You can't believe I killed Monsieur de la Serre. Your father... He wasn't the man you thought he was. Neither of our fathers were. I know exactly who my father was, Arnaud. And I know who yours was. I suppose it was inevitable. You an assassin, me a Templar. You? Does that shock you? My father always meant for me to follow in his footsteps. Now all I can do is avenge him. I swear to you, I had nothing to do with his death. But you did. No. No! By my life, I swear I didn't! Is that... A letter intended for my father the day he was murdered. Read it. Grandmaster de la Serre, I have learned through my agents that an individual within our order plots against you. I beg you to be on your guard at the initiation tonight. Trust no one, not even those you call friends. May the Father of Understanding guide you. L. I found that on the floor of my father's room. Unopened. I didn't know. Neither did my father. How could I have known? Just go. Please. What is this supposed to mean? I suppose a simple address would be too mundane. Yes, 
Took you long enough, piss pot. What is this place? A sanctuary. A place we can train and prepare away from the eyes of our enemies. So. The son of Charles Dorian returns to us. Belek thought you wouldn't come. What changed your mind? I'm tired of running from my failures. Monsieur de la Serre, my father. I want to make it right. The death of Grandmaster de la Serre weighs on you. Why? Did you wield the blade yourself? Does it matter? The blame still lies with me. In the Nubahu Tukkilu Kailai. Hal anta muda akidon min? Anna kathalik. Inna hu kadnira ala muajati el muhakama. Seikunu jaidan. Very well. Out of the dark you come into the light. From the light you will return to the dark. Are you prepared to travel the eagle's path? If that's a fancy way of asking do I want your help, yes. Then drink.
must receive it today. It's very necessary. I heard you the first time. Haven't you done enough to repay my father's kindness? Are the words spoken by our ancestors, the words that lay at the heart of our creed. Stay your blade from the flesh of the innocent. Hide in plain sight. Never compromise the Brotherhood. Let these tenets be branded upon your mind. Follow them and be uplifted. Break them at your peril. Rise, assassin. Arno Dorian is dead. He has been culled from this world, his sins and failures turned to dust. Tonight he is reborn, a novice of the Assassin Brotherhood. Welcome back. Now that you've experienced life as an assassin, are you willing to take up the fight and join us? Deacon, load the file. Coming up. We looked at a media file from Abdergo last month, and the information it contains is astounding. But we won't share these things with just anyone. By pressing play, you'll be joining the assassins. If you want to fight the Templar menace, if you're willing to save civilization from Abstergo's clutches, press play, sit back, and ready yourself for the truth. Good choice. Welcome to the Assassins, Initiate. In the 1950s, it was theorized that human DNA worked via the triple helix model. Some years later, the work of Crick and Watson demolished this theory in favor of the double helix. Today, we know the double helix to be indisputably the basis of all life. So why did the triple helix theory gain so much traction? Why did Rosalind Franklin's x-rays seem to confirm it? It turns out that their initial samples had been taken from small traces of precursor DNA, the rare genes of an ancient race embedded in our own. We now know that triple helix DNA is the foundation of the precursor genome. 
It is the genetic Rosetta Stone of our age. If we can crack it open, if we can sequence the full precursor genome, there is no limit to the knowledge we will gain. Using Animus technology, precursor history will be open to us for the first time ever. Ancient languages will be unlocked, and ancient technology will be ours for the taking. Imagine what will be possible if we master the technology that underpins the pieces of Eden. Such discoveries would surpass 100-fold the splitting of the atom. Last year, we located a rich sample of precursor DNA in a donor whose genes contained human and precursor DNA at an incredible 25 to 1 ratio. Our work will begin with this sample. Our goal is to unravel the triple helix, sequence the precursor genome, and change the world for the better, forever. Welcome to the Phoenix Project. So, this is where we stand. Last year, Abstergo acquired the body of a man we call a sage, one of a rare breed of humans with a surplus of ancient DNA. This sparked a search for more sages, in the present and in the past. The more Abstergo finds, the closer they get to their final goal. We've blocked their recent attempts to find more, but Abstergo will not stop looking until they sequence a full precursor genome. So, why Arno Dorian? Why chase an assassin through the French Revolution? It turns out, at some point in his life, Arnaud came into contact with another sage. We need you to find out when and where these meetings took place. If Arnaud was present for this sage's death, it might lead Abstergo straight to his body. Naturally, we'd like to find it first. This is where you come in. It won't be simple. Genetic memory must be tackled in sequence to keep the data stable. But we're confident you're up to the task. And you won't be alone. Other initiates, assassins just like you, are doing their part to end this fight. If you need more training, more experience, you can call on them for help. All right. Loading the next sequence. What's the mission? The mission... Let's get your arse in position. Don't ask questions, Pisspot. I live to serve. Lord Guillaume de Roussel has generously agreed to our price of 40%. An act of desperation? What about the priest? You'll come around. <laughs> your confidence is infectious, Sivert. My boys will have the wagon ready. Here are the details. Make sure it goes smoothly. Of course. Make sure that it goes smoothly, cretin. When have I... Murder! Murder! These bastards Help! always have bodyguards. Well... Merde. Patriots. These imbeciles will pick a fight with anyone. Try not to draw their attention. Shouldn't we stop them? Stop them. Avoid them. Doesn't matter. There's always more fanatics. Can't save everyone, Pisspot. Well, there's a cheery thought. Well, the customs agents of France can rest easy. Arpino's dead. Shaking down imprisoned nobles seems a bit out of his oeuvre. What are the Templars up to? If we hadn't spent the last year hobbled by your damn truce, we might know that. Here's a point, Honoré. The truce was with Grand Master de la Serre. The man's been dead for two years. Whoever's in charge now, you can be certain they aren't sitting idle. We might have learned more had we not allowed Siver to escape. Siver was there? I know your heart is set on keeping the peace, but bringing Monsieur de la Serre's killer to justice would count for something, wouldn't it? Yes, it would. But do not confuse your personal vendetta with a sound strategy. If he wants to kill Templars, let him kill Templars. 
I've taught him all I can. Boy's ready. Very well. Assassin. I charge you to go to Notre Dame de Paris and to find there the Templar agent, Charles Gabriel Sivert. You will learn his secrets, and when you have done so, you will bring him peace in accordance with our tenets. What's our plan? Our plan. You're not an apprentice anymore, boy. To so study your surroundings, devise your own plan. I'm not here to hold your hand. No targets unreachable. Out of the way. Move. Where the hell is Duchesneau? Oh. If you can't find a weakness to exploit, make one. You've secured the cathedral? Oui, monsieur. Good. Tell Sivert, I'll meet him inside. Opportunities everywhere. It's on you to take it. You! Get back here with my keys! Thieves! And if all other plans fail, why not sacrifice yourself for the cause, your life for his, before Altair? That was the Levantine approach. You mean a dagger in broad daylight as I'm cut down where I stand? Sends a powerful message. I'll do it my way. Whatever you think best, assassin. Wait here. See that we're not disturbed. Sit there. Monsieur Latouche, I'm here to see the King of Beggars. Come with me. Intrigues of rats! Pompous fool, if I could lay my hands on him. Well, what's so important you had to pull me away from my daughters? <laughs> Much of the king's champagne. Sivir, come away! There you are. And you found the exit. Good. It's an unstable vortex of energy, so there's no telling how it will disrupt the simulation. Parishioners found a body in Notre Dame today. The wags are already calling him the Penitent. I take it justice has been done? Not entirely. Sivert had an accomplice the night of Monsieur de la Serre's murder. He struck the killing blow. This raises troubling questions. What have you learned? He was working with a man called Le Roi des Tunes. The King of Beggars? Are you sure? You know him. Of him. The beggars pay him tribute. The man himself is a ghost. We've sent three assassins after him. The first two found no trace. The third never returned. I can find him. Sivert met with one of his lieutenants. I owe it to the memory of Monsieur de la Serre to uncover the truth. Perhaps you can at that. You've proved yourself a true assassin today. And a true assassin must have the proper tools. So the concealed blade and the smoke bombs were just what you had on hand, then? The Phantom Blade. A modest little update from the traditional Assassin's Blade. Where you're going, you may not wish to get too close to your enemies. Now then. Assassin, this council charges you to go to La Cour des Miracles. Find there the Templar agent, Le Roi des Tunes. Learn his secrets and bring him peace.
Oh, I wouldn't do that. Look. <sighs> Lovely, no? The good folk of Paris give more money to crippled beggars than whole ones. No one did tune season that bit of trivia an opportunity to motivate his less successful employees. That man has lost a foot. Now you can charge in there, cause a great disturbance, and send all the rats scurrying back to their holes. Or you can disappear into the swarm and follow the rats back to their king. Either way, that man has lost a foot. It's done. Take him to the clinic for a proper cauterization, then send him back to the street. Come on, up you get. I appreciate the advice. Not yet. Who are you, precisely? And why help me? <laughs> oh, I've had my eye on you for some time now, Arno. I feel it my sovereign duty to aid all those who suffered in cruelest bondage with me at the Bastille. And I have a vested interest in seeing the King of Rats caught in a trap. As to my name, I have the pleasure of being Donatien Alphonse François, Marquis de Sade. Do pay me a visit when you've tired of chasing vermin. Oh, he's left a lovely trail. <laughs> Good luck. Get him inside, quickly. Something doesn't feel right. He's dead, sir. Then toss him in the gutter and get yourselves inside. and I'll spare you your life. The car comes! He's in the car comes, but he will charge! <gasps> Latouche, I expected a stronger spine than yours. What will your master say? Oh, God! Not help me! Off you lot. What's happened? The beggars, they're rioting all throughout the district. You men, with me. I've heard reliable reports that an assassin is nearby and that, that you are his intended target. The worm has grown a spine. Now he's a snake. Damn. It was only a matter of time I knew that much. This is far too soon. Oh, we, oui, my lord. The, the um, assassins are uh, well connected. But we have the advantage now, don't we? Muster the guard and lead the hunt for this assassin. Bring me his head. My subjects have eyes everywhere, my lord. I offer their knowledge to the service of the Order. What knowledge could a King of the Gutters offer us? The intrigues of rats. You may go. The intrigues of rats? Pompous fool, if I could lay my hands on him. My master would be pleased to arrange that. Brother. You're all right, monsieur. Too much of the king's champagne. Sibir, come away! It is done. 
Delacere is dead. Grand master. Good. Just in time for the commencement of my reign. Your reign? As long as there's a cour des miracles, you must have a roi d'étude. And since there seemed to be a vacancy, I stepped in. With remarkable speed, the body's not yet cold. I may have set things in motion a trifle early. Say, when you first arrived at la cour des miracles... You used me. Your target is dead. We used one another. Quite a kingdom you've inherited. It is, isn't it? So, is justice served? Are the dead avenged? Is your soul soothed, all that rot? Rot is a fine description. Every time I think I'm getting close to the truth, it seems another layer of filth presents itself. <gasps> Conspiracy, intrigue, the rapidly thickening plot. Add some bestiality and a lecherous priest, and I say you have the beginnings of a beautiful novel. I'd settle for a solid lead. So young, and yet so serious. Well, best of luck to you. You have, I trust, looked into this. Where did you get that? One of my newly loyal subjects brought it to me as a token of esteem, as it were. It's a curious piece. I know of only one silversmith who works metal like this. A blade of this make killed Monsieur de la Serre. I can only assume you knew this already. Why didn't you say? Well, where would man be if he never had to ask questions? If everything he could ever want to know was simply handed to him, he might no longer think to ask questions. Or he might accomplish a great deal more unburdened by ignorance. Perhaps. The smith's name is François Thomas Germain. You'll find his shop near Léal. Thank you. Bonne chance. Something I can help you with? What is this place? It connects to the sanctuary. Less flashy than the Saint-Chapelle entrance, but we own the building. Used to be part of our intelligence network. But the place has fallen on hard times. How can I help? I'll keep an ear out for any opportunities that come up. You might also speak to the Intendant about renovating the building itself. I'm not exactly flush with coin just now. Any revenues the cafe generates are yours to do with as you see fit. The money is deposited in the chest in the study, and the more improvements you make... The more revenue. Quite. You might also find that expanding our reach into other districts will pay dividends. Merci. You look terrible. For months, I have been wrangling the Brotherhood, the National Assembly, and the King. Taken all together, they have the political acumen of an especially stupid village council. I believe that excuses my appearance, young man. I meant no disrespect, Mentor. I am only concerned. Forget me, Arlo. Weep for France. But enough politics. I hope you have happier news. 
What of Lord de Lassaire's murderers? The King of Beggars is dead. He was carrying this. Repose on pay. You should keep it. It'll do no one any good moldering in a forgotten crypt. Carry it with honor. Thank you. I will. The mission. The King of Beggars and Sivert were only pawns in a larger game. Someone sent them after Monsieur de la Serre. Templars do nothing simply, do they? Do you have anything solid on this mysterious chess player? The only lead I have is the instrument that killed de la Serre, a pin fashioned by a silversmith named Germain. But how he's involved, I can't yet say. It seems your course is clear. Find the silversmith, learn what part he plays. Well, that's not suspicious, is it? Monsieur Germain, the silversmith. Thank God. They've been holding me for months. Please, get me out of here. First, I need to know about this. You've no time. I'll tell you all I know once we're away. But we must leave before the guards return. Fine, let's go. No! They'll be watching the front entrance. We'll have to go downstairs and across. Follow me, then, and stay quiet. No need to do anything foolish. Let the silversmith go. Stay back. Don't be good. What have I done? Only what you had to. Come, we must go. Yes, of course. Thank you, my friend. You've done me a great service today. Perhaps you can return the favor. Yes, of course. May I? I made the first some years ago on a private contract a man called Lafreniere. That seemed an unusual commission. I confess, curiosity got the better of me. Recently, I started to look into Lafreniere's background, and what I discovered I wouldn't believe it. He's a Templar. Is that what you found? Yes. I believe so. I didn't know how to take it. In any case, I was careless, and the friend here found out about my schemes. Kept me under house arrest ever since. I do as he bids. Weapons, mostly. Where can I find him? Well, the friend here is a very difficult man to pin down. Not long ago. I overheard him talking about protecting the shipments at La Halle Oblée. Sounded ominous for every man. Now I ask, why are you so interested in him? He killed someone very dear to me. I want to know why. I see. You have my sympathies. They will come looking for you again. Make yourself scarce. Yes, I believe I might. All right, Lafreniere, where are you hiding? Whatever he's planning, it's big. And now I know where to find you, Grandmaster. It hardly seems safe just to leave these lying around.
hide in plain sight. Right. You'll be reinforced before the Master arrives. We'll post snipers on the roofs. The instructions are all here. Get to it. Think we should go with them? The Master's elite bodyguards? I think they can handle it. Suppose you're right. I'd better find myself a place to wait before the rest of them arrive. The truth is in peril, my brothers. She is beset on all quarters. Jacobins lay her on the rack, cruelly breaking her to their populist agenda. Then rise, my brother. And be welcome. You don't trust the man, do you? Mirabeau is a good man, an honest man. Mirabeau is a self-aggrandizing drunk. Do not forget who is Grand Master here, Lafreniere. Take this to Grand Master de la Serre immediately. Deliver it to him in person. Yes, Master. Master, we have a problem. Christophe has been feeding information to our enemies. We must assume this location is compromised. We'll have to move up our timetable. Gather the men. We strike Clotel de Beauvais tonight. Four hundred armed noblemen, Honoré? If it weren't for General Enough. Lafayette... Enough! The room is fogged with your bluster! All hot air and no action! Here's a man with good news, I think. Arno, what did you learn from the silversmith? Poison. They're catching up. Germain made that pin, and others like it, for a man named Lafreniere. Uh, sure. Certain. Grandmaster de la Serre spoke highly of his loyalty. Very well. I suppose the course is clear, Arno. Find Monsieur Lafreniere. I have done so already, Monsieur. He is no threat. What are you saying, Pispar? I had a lead on Lafreniere. I followed it, and I killed him. What the hell were you thinking? How dare you defy the creed? Next time you circle the council, I'll we'll give you, the you a new arsehole! While this council admires your zeal, it is not your place to choose your own targets. You should have reported your findings to us. Forgive me, mentor. I believed I had found the man who ordered Monsieur de la Serre's murder. When I discovered further evidence that suggested he was about to strike at the Brotherhood in force, I took action. Believed? Suggested? I am no longer certain of Lafreniere's motivations. In his memories, I saw him writing the letter that would have warned Monsieur de la Serre of his betrayal. When he spoke of his impending attack, he mentioned a club in the Marais, not one of our safe houses. What do you make of this? I cannot say. I would like to investigate further. I don't like this. The boy is a gifted assassin, but I fear he's obsessed with a private vendetta. Let another follow this lead. We don't have time. Whatever Lafreniere was planning, it happens tonight. He did ask permission this time, Guillaume. Ah. Uh. Go then, see what you can learn, but no more rash action. Hm? Yes, mentor. This is the place. What was Lafreniere so interested in? Get him upstairs, quickly. Mm -hmm. 
Latouche, old friend. You do get about, don't you? The great work requires patience, my friend. If Paris must suffer a while longer so the world might be remade, then so be it. Why not just kill him and be done with it? One of my boys, a knife, a dark hallway. Easy peasy. We want a condemned man, Captain, not a martyr. Have patience. Respectfully, Grandmaster, patience is well and fine. But the longer we wait, the greater the chance of discovery. Well, the assassins already found Sivir and the Wadetun. Oh, Sivir and Loire already served their purpose. Their destruction, while inconvenient, is no obstacle. And the assassins have already proved useful when properly led. What about the Della Serbrat? She could be dangerous if she manages to rally the old guard. That situation will be resolved. How so? Mademoiselle de la Serre will soon be on her way to l'Hôtel Voisin, eager to speak with Monsieur Lafreniere. Sadly, Monsieur Lafreniere has nothing left to say. Please. was it? Hotel Voisin? Merde. What's going on? Where is Monsieur Lafreniere? He's dead. What? Go! I'll explain later! They can't have gone far. Find them! Go on. I'll distract them. Trust me. Meet me tomorrow at Café Théâtre. I'll explain everything. You're mad. I'll be there. I may be a little late. Seems you've been busy. Tracking down the man who killed your father, yes. Best of luck. He's killed most of my allies and intimidated the rest into silence. No closer now than I was two years ago. I've seen him. What? When? Where can I find him? I'm not sure that's a good idea. He wants you dead, Elise. What? You want to protect me? I want to help you. The Brotherhood has resources, manpower. You cannot be serious. I don't trust the assassins. Do you trust me? I haven't changed that much, Elise. I'm still the same boy who, who distracted the cook while you stole the jam. The same one who helped you over the wall into that dog-infested orchard. All right. Take me to your brotherhood. I'll hear the offer. Offer may be a bit strong. Is that? Bloody Templar. What's he doing? Really? They're a touch paranoid when it comes to security. Two right turns, 73 steps, then down a flight of stairs, a left and another right. Did I get all that? What the hell you done this time, Pisspot? The Templars have marked her for death. So you brought her here? The Brotherhood has resources, manpower. Shut up! Well, what have we here? Hello, my friend. My name is... For heaven's sake. Take that blindfold off. Ridiculous. My name is Elise de la Serre. My father was Francois de la Serre, Grand Master of the Templar Order. I've come to ask for your help. Continue. Mirabeau. Must we rehash this debate again? We must, and we will, Master Kimar. If you cannot see the advantage in being owed a favor by Francois de la Serre's daughter, I despair for our future. Continue, Mademoiselle de la Serre. 
Oh, here we go. You are not men with whom I would normally parley, monsieur. But my father is dead, as are my allies within the Order. If I must turn to the assassins for my revenge, so be it. Parley, my arse! It's a trick to make us lower our guard. I say we kill her, send her head back as a warning. Belek. Enough! Plainly, this discussion is better conducted in private. If you will excuse us, Mademoiselle Lasser. Certainly. Arno, perhaps you should accompany her. I am sure you two have much to talk about. that about? Oh, no. Francois Germain was my father's lieutenant. What? He was cast out of the order when I was a girl. Something about heretical notions or Jacques de Molay, I'm not entirely sure. But he should be dead. He died years ago. Did anyone tell him that? I would very much like to ask him a few questions. So would I. Well, that was bracing. Just like that time in Marseille. Bit more blood this time around. There's nothing here. He must have known his bluff wouldn't hold up. So we've lost him again. Maybe not. Let's keep looking. Locked. Maybe we could... Do that. Well, now I know why this wasn't on the official tour. Oh, no. Look. It's him. The bastard killed my father. We have to tell Mirabeau. As soon as... I'll take care of this. Meet me at Mirabeau's estate. Elise? Elise? What is this? I found him like this. I didn't. Of course not. But I have to report this to the Council immediately. They'll know what to do. No! They don't trust me as it is. I'll be their suspect, first and last. You're right. Of course you're right. What are we going to do? We find out what happened. Handkerchief. A lady's handkerchief. So, we can count half the noble women of Paris as suspects, then? Maybe one of the staff will recognize it. Looks like he was expecting a visitor. Who? Master Kema. What is that? It's the weapon that killed your father. That's a Templar badge of office. What's it doing here? Painting a picture. Poison. Let me see that. Aconite. Hard to detect unless you know what you're looking for. Popular with Templars, is it? With anyone who wants to get away with murder. But yes. Bonsoir. I wonder Shit. if you might end. Not again! Well played. Wait. Damn you, come back here! <laughs> Woohoo! Over here! I never told anyone! I did just as you said! What are you talking about? You, you're with the other one, aren't you? The hooded man. Tell me about this other one. Who is he? I don't know. I never saw his face. Ah! 
He threatened to kill me if I didn't give him the poison. I didn't ask questions. I keep only a small quantity in stock. He took that straight away, but he told me where to drop off the second dose. Second dose? Here. That's all I know. I swear it. Go on, then. Think of this as a wonderful story to frighten your grandchildren with. Well? You were right. He gave our mysterious killer the poison. And he said the killer wore a hood like mine. Well, there are shades of grey in every good story. If we've been betrayed from within... That would explain why the killer tried to frame me. Here. This is where the apothecary delivered his wares. What are we waiting for? Charming place. What do you hope to find here? This is where the apothecary says he delivered the poison. I'm hoping I can pick up a trail and follow it back to the source. Pick up a trail? Are you a bloodhound now? Something like that. The trail ends here. Are you sure? I'm sure. No. Wait here. Don't be ridiculous. I'm not letting you go in there alone. Elise. I have to do this myself. Please. I understand. You'd better come back to me. Took you long enough, piss pot. Balek. Should've known it'd be you that'd find me. Only question is, what happens now? You poisoned Mirabeau. He poisoned us. Peace with the Templars is a fairy tale. And you're the only one who can save the Brotherhood? You think it's the first time this has happened? The first time that the Assassins have been forced to purge their leadership? The first time that the Order has built itself back up from nothing to power? No. Masyaf, Monteregioni, the American colonies. It's all happened before. And we have risen anew, stronger than ever. But now, we've lost our purpose, Arno. We've mired ourselves in politics and revolutions, but we're not a nation. We're an army. And in an army, making peace with the enemy is called treason. No, I'm not the only one that can save the Brotherhood. We can. Together. Balak. You know I can't do that. That's a pity. Templars put entire villages to the sword just for the chance of killing one assassin. But tell me, in your vast experience, what have you seen? 
I've seen the Grand Master of the Templar Order take in a frightened orphan and raise him as his own son. Ugh! Stay there. I should have left you to rot in the Bastille. Tell me, did you ever really believe in the Creed? Or were you a Templar-loving traitor from the start? It doesn't have to be this way, Belek. You're the one who's making it so. If you just see sense, we could take the brother into a height we've not seen in 200 years. Yes, killing everyone who disagrees with you is a brilliant way to start your rise from the ashes. Look out! So, now we see the heart of it. It's not Mirabeau that's poisoned your mind, it's her. She's the last piece of this god-fucked lunacy. Belek. You'll thank me for this. One day. in one piece. Now we piss pot. Drop this. Well. I'll be damned. So you're really going through with this? Your protege vouches for her. Don't you trust him? With my life, it's the girl I don't trust. Nothing I can say to convince you. I'm afraid not. Thought not. Chin! Chin. I pause on pay. these transfers to a minimum, okay? Hey, come off it. That's entirely up to your initiate, my friend. I'm not the one leaving so many digital footprints around Paris. You might confuse them for tiny double packs. Noted. We'll call you if we need you. You summoned? Monsieur Dorian, we have a task for you. 
More fetch and carry work, I imagine. Two master assassins are dead, one by your own hand in defense of a Templar. Count yourself lucky this is the extent of your punishment. And Germain? It's none of your concern. Last night, the Paris Commune declared itself an open insurrection against the King. As we speak, 20,000 armed revolutionaries are laying siege to the Tuileries. Even the National Guard are on the brink. Some of them have thrown in with the revolutionaries. France is splitting at the seams. And this doesn't please us. The people are fighting for what is owed them. Liberté, égalité. If we danced about on a simple scale in need of balancing, you'd be right. But the truth is more complicated. In putting Mirabeau's affairs in order, we've come across certain correspondences of a royal nature. Mirabeau's in contact with the king. And he was rather less discreet than he should have been. If the king's copies of these letters were made public, the Templars would be in a position to expose and purge our agents across France. And I'm to slip in and find them first. And quickly. The Swiss Guard are badly outnumbered. It's likely they'll be overwhelmed before nightfall. Won't be the first palace I've broken into. Ready? Aim! Fire! Good work. Time to your post. certainly don't look like a blood-crazed revolutionary. The hood is a bit sinister, though, if you don't mind my saying. Serving as rear guard, are you? Convenient how that puts several locked doors between you and the fighting. Oh, I'm not here at all. Not officially, anyway. But how often does one find the opportunity to poke about in a king's private study? Looking for anything in particular? State secrets, private correspondences, personal treasures, that sort of thing. I do hope we're not eyeing the same prize. Name it. Certain letters written to the king, ripe for misunderstanding, should the wrong men find them. I see. Well, then perhaps we can help each other. I believe the king has built a hidden vault somewhere in here. If only we could find it. You were saying... Very nicely done, my friend. Incredible. Find your prize. A cornucopia, yes. And you? Believe so. Yes. This is it. That should take care of that. And may I suggest we leave? Quickly. What is that? Our way out. Cover me, would you? Let's go. Search everything! I want those documents! Damn! Yes, Captain Rui has that effect on people. Friend of yours. A persistent thorn I haven't quite managed to pluck out. He has information I need. I need to get back up there. In this mess, you'll never find him again. Come with me, I have a better idea. Everything all right, sir? Fine, Corporal. Superb shot. Regular drills are critical to a regiment's success. We should be going, sir. We part ways here. What about Rui? Give me a few days. I'll see what I can learn of his current posting. Perhaps I can arrange an introduction. Be well. This morning, I was accosted by three men carrying some poor soul's head atop a pike. 
seems they mistook my uniform for a mark of nobility and demanded I shout, long live the Republic, to prove my allegiance. I suppose handing out tricolor cockades is now passé. What did you do? I shouted, long live the Republic. A man of principle. Life is more valuable than dignity. But this is what happens when you give command of the government to half-starved lunatics and command of the army to bloodthirsty savages. Rui. I wanted him assigned to some out-of-the-way garrison. But the man redefines the term friends in high places. He's untouchable. But you know where I can find him. Rumor about the barracks is that he and a unit of his cronies plan on marching on the Grand Châtelet this afternoon. If he were to meet with an accident, few in France would suffer. My career certainly wouldn't. Well, practice your speech making. Nobody try anything. to remove us from this hall. You must also get authority to use force, for we shall yield to nothing but bayonets! Ah, but to administer is to govern. To govern is to reign. That is the essence of the problem. Mr. Mirabeau. Pathetic, isn't it? Surely, France deserves better. What was that? I need to be about. Roy, clean up your mess, it's tight. Told you I could make him talk. You've done well, Captain. Three. The price of grain is higher than ever, Grandmaster. Our agents are in place to divert the shipments to our docks. They await only your command. Good. Starve them. Through famine and fury, they will see their false masters for what they are, but do it gradually. What you're asking will take at least a year, Grandmaster, if not two. What do you know about grain merchants? Good to see you too. Most of them are very poor just now, why? I have a lead on Germain. He has a woman named Marie buying up grain shipments and diverting them to a private dock. Marie Levesque? You know her. The Levesques have been Templars since the Third Crusade. Marie was the only one who argued against Germain's exile. I'm not surprised she's thrown in with him. Any idea where we might find her? Not her, no. But what little grain makes it to Paris these days is unloaded at the Hotel de Ville docks. Promising. I'll start there. Perhaps I can learn something of Madame Levesque's whereabouts. Hey! Come back here! You've missed the key, you dolts! Where are you going? Heave to! Tie off the ball in! Captain! Any problems? No, madame. You have your orders? Here, madame. Good. And I'm instructed to tell you to make certain one of the bags leaks. Uh, yes, madame. Get to work! Palais Luxembourg. Hmm. What are you up to there? You were right. 
Marie Lévesque had men unloading the barges and taking the grain to the Palais du Luxembourg. If the people think the royal family has been hoarding food in a time of famine... Bedlam. Just the sort of thing Germain seems to thrive on. Madame Lévesque is yours. I'll find the stolen grain and try to get it out of there before anyone finds it. Stay out of trouble. Don't get caught. Hand over the powder! What will we do, Michel? If I could only get my hands on that guard. Lovely party. You've outdone yourself this time. Merci. Now pray excuse me, I need to see to my husband. Remember what I taught you, Marie. Oui, Maman. Francois Thomas Germain, for your crimes against the Templar Order, you are cast out. Let any man offering succor to the exile share his fate. Fool. The man speaks to me. No, it's mine, De La Serre. De La Serre! Milady, you have a caller. I need your help, Marie. You were right. King Louis's been talking to all sorts he shouldn't have. Plotting against the revolution out of one side of his mouth, while he promises to support the Constitution out the other. Good. I trust you can get this information into the proper hands, Monsieur de Peltier. Of course, Grand Master. With this evidence in hand, the King's conviction is certain. What? No time to explain! Run! Will we be taking a ride this evening, Professor? Uh, no, 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 no. I'm afraid not. These older models are entirely at the mercy of the breeze, and there is far too much of it, I'm afraid, to be safe. Now, this particular example... What do you think you're doing? Get out of there this instant! Cut the ropes! I'll cover you! Oh, my. <laughs> Next time, I plan the escape route. It's beautiful. From up here, you'd never know the nation is tearing itself apart. Can... Can things ever go back to the way they were before, do you think? Do you? After everything that's happened. Everything we've lost. So that's it then. The course of history forever altered. Never again to return. Maybe we can't go back. But going forward isn't necessarily an ending. Please. I... You cheated. You took too long. I love you.
Had to dash. You looked so peaceful, I didn't want to wake you. Je t'aime, Elise. Someone will come and collect it. Surely. Are you sure about this? Not particularly, no. But the Marquis is on the National Convention for Le Peltier. He might have some insight. Which is a more incisive commentary on corruption in the bishopric? Seven nuns seducing a parish priest into debauchery, or an enormously endowed Benedictine sodomizing a goat named Pius? No force in heaven or on earth will make me answer that question. Quite right, Arno. The goat it is. So, what can I do for you? and your charming companion. Louis-Michel Le Pelletier. What can you tell us about him? Ah, dear Louis. He went from abolishing the death penalty to calling for the king's head in two short years. Where can we find him? I'm afraid I don't often socialize with my fellow deputies. Something about my distaste for the beheading of the innocent. Speaking of innocence, to sad. Mm -hmm. Le Peltier. Well, I believe he often takes meals at a certain cafe near the Palais Royal. I believe you can find him there. If we don't, I'll be back. Really? Well, then I hope I'm mistaken. No, you don't. Point delivery for the palace. Look it round back. Make sure you clean those windows properly this time, or Mr. Le Pelletier will have my yes, head. Madame. Bonjour, Citizen Le Pelletier. Citizen Talia. The king must be seen as a criminal and the traitor. Only then, when he's executed like a common villain, can we show the world Jacques de Molay's great truth. You may show the world what truths you like, Grand Master. What I do, I do for the good of France. You were right. King Louis's been talking to all sorts he shouldn't have. Citizen Le Pelletier, the vote stands at 360 for execution to 360 for clemency. How do you vote? Execution! The vote is cast and counted, Grandmaster. And? The king will die. I had no doubt. I shall very much look forward to witnessing the end of tyranny. I'll see to it you have the finest view. They're bringing the king up now. Are you sure Germain will be there? Yes, I'm sure. Then what are we waiting for? Let's split up. We'll cover more ground that way. Bring forth the condemned! Monsieur Germain, it's fitting you are here to witness the rebirth of the Templar Order. After all, you were there for its conception. Monsieur de la Serre. Ah, I tried to make him see. But the Order had become corrupt, touching at power and privilege for their own sake. But you could set it right. Is that it? All by killing the man in charge? Oh, de la Serre's death was only the first stage. This is the culmination. Oh, 
innocence. Messieurs, je suis innocent de tout ce dont on m'accuse. Je souhaite que mon sang puisse cimenter le bonheur des Français. Kings, it is simple. Symbol can inspire fear. And fear can inspire control. But men inevitably lose their fear of symbols, as you can see. This was the truth de Molay died for. The divine right of kings is nothing but the reflection of sunlight upon gold. And the crown and church are ground to dust. Who you control the gold will decide the future. Is it Vanger? I must take my leave. Good day to you. Kill him. Go! Why the nations? What are you doing? Go after him! I'm not leaving you here to die. He's gone. Damn it! Our one chance! It's not over. We'll find another lead. No, we won't. You think he'll be so careless now, knowing how close at heel we are? You were given a golden opportunity to end his life, and you refused to take it. To save your life? It isn't yours to save. What are you saying? I'm willing to risk everything to put Jama down. If you don't have the stomach for revenge, then I don't need your help. Elise. Elise! What in God's name happened at the Place de la Révolution today? Germain was there, and I know what his plan is. You have to... You were told to leave that investigation to others. Yes, but listen! Yes, but listen? Is that the regard in which you hold the Brotherhood? I knew this would happen. I told Mirabeau that you were too obsessed with your personal vendettas. This is why I joined the Brotherhood. Yes, not because you shared our ideas or felt called to the service. For revenge. For redemption. Call it what you will. You've defied the orders of this council repeatedly, pursued targets without sanction, and flouted our creed at every step. Master Trenet. In light of these actions, I find I have no choice but to call for a vote of expulsion. Master Bellier. Agreed. What are you- Master Kimar. Agreed. Arno Dorian, you are attainted. Your rank and title are stripped from you, and you are hereby exiled from the Brotherhood of Paris. You cannot be serious. Listen, I know what Germain is doing. I can stop him! The decision of this council is final. We give you leave to go. Brasserie Garceau. Was that last night? Get the hell out of here! 
out here. But I... Ouch! You've caused enough trouble for one night. Fine. I'll procure my wine in some other fashion. Christ, not you again. Didn't do enough damage last night. No, I, I just... My father's watch. Have you seen it? I see nothing. Might want to ask one of the four men you picked a fight with. Idiot. You. Uh, where's your boss? Oh, shit. No. Get back here. Where? The palace! The Red of Palace! Thank you. Oh, no. You look like hell. You look like you want something from me. That's a fine thing to say after you up and vanished. You made it fairly clear you no longer required my services. Don't. Don't you dare talk to me like that. What do you expect me to say, Elise? Forgive me? for not letting you die. I'm sorry that I care more about you than about killing Germain. I thought we wanted the same thing. What I wanted was you. I can't bear the fact that my carelessness got your father killed. Everything I've done since then has been to fix that mistake and to prevent it from happening again. You must have come here with something in mind. What was it? Paris is tearing itself apart. Germain has driven the revolution to new heights of depravity. The guillotines operate nearly around the clock now. And what do you expect me to do about it? The Arno I love wouldn't have to ask that question. You're better than this. I'm going back to Paris. Are you coming? There's one last thing I need to do. All right. 
I'll go see to our transportation. Stay out of trouble. Don't get caught. gotten us into now. Shut up in there! So, this is what France has come to. Parasites bleed the revolution dry. Fired? But why? Because, Monsieur Latouche, your last report contained numerous errors. Sir, I, I triple-checked those figures. They're not in error. 10,000 livres have simply vanished from His Majesty's treasury. I'm sorry, Latouche. Good day. Monsieur Latouche, they tell me you were a tax man. Yes, sir. Good. I have need of someone like you. This parasite is plain and simple. What's that mean? It means greedy bastards skimming for themselves instead of doing their jobs. If you knew half the shit our boss is right here. Tell me about this boss of yours. Very well. May the Father of Understanding guide you. May the Father, Father of Understanding guide us. Um, what would you have me do, Grand Master? I'm placing your services at the disposal of our agent on the convention. The Peltier? Our Peltier has his uses, but he's not our only friend in government. Monsieur Latouche, I present to you Monsieur Maximilien de Robespierre. Monsieur, I understand Versailles is overrun with parasites. Let's finish this. You're almost home. Things have changed a great deal since you left Paris. A great deal to be set right. And we're no closer to finding Germain. That's not entirely true. I have a name. Who? Robespierre. all this. Robespierre, he's declared today a festival of the supreme being. A peon to the virtue of the nation and the citizen's duty toward it. What now? Robespierre is unassailable. He's got half the guard out in force. We'll never get within ten yards of him. Just what I said. But he's not as popular as he was. The Purges, the Supreme Being cult. If we can discredit him, he's finished. A massive public spectacle is the perfect venue. Exactly. Paint him as a dangerous lunatic and his power will evaporate like snow in April. But we'll need some convincing evidence. I have an idea where to start. You coming? Meet me after. I have my own arrangements to make. Merlin, Talien, Bourdon. These are all deputies of the National Convention. 
Lists of political figures written in the hand of a man fond of sending his rivals to the guillotine. Yes, these should do nicely. A list of names. Fifty or so deputies of the National Convention, all written in Robespierre's hand and all opposed to him. I imagine those good gentlemen would be quite interested to know they're on that list. But first... Monsieur Robespierre brought his own refreshments. Distract the guards, I have an idea. Distract the guards? Right. How did I get? Causes hallucinations. This will make him look mad. Now we have to make him look dangerous. The list of names. It must fall into the right hands, anonymously. If our involvement gets out, it'll tip Germain off. Leave that part to me. It is wisdom, above all, that our guilty enemies want to drive from the Republic. To wisdom alone does it belong to consolidate the prosperity of empire. Uh -huh. Being a list of enemies of the revolution. Half a hundred names here. Robespierre's gone too far this time. That set the fox in the hen house. Pity the hens. Now what? We wait. It won't take long. Once Robespierre has lost the support of the people, he'll be no more use to Germain. But when Germain abandons him... He's vulnerable. Let's go. We got your message. What's going on? We may have gone too far in discrediting Robespierre. Elise! What happened here? We were ambushed. Troops from the Paris Commune attacked us en route. They were trying to free the prisoners. Did they take Robespierre? I'm not sure. The fighting left me behind. They fell back that way. Merci. Go find yourself a doctor. Oh. If he's still in custody, they'll have taken oh. him to Luxembourg prison. But if not, they'll need to hold up somewhere nearby. They won't get very far with half the city turned out against Robespierre. I'll check the prison. You follow the riot, see if you can pick up a trail. Right. Thank God you made it, sir. The commune stands with you. Thank you, Sergeant. Your loyalty does you credit. Let's get inside, sir. The convention soldiers will be here soon. Yes, of course. I place myself in your capable hands. Damn him. I sent for Zemma hours ago. Gemma warned me about you. You're one of them, aren't you? An assassin. Not anymore. Where's Germain? Elise. We don't have much time. Where is Germain? I will never talk. Ah! Then right. Ah! 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 The temple. I should have known. I hope you enjoy revolutionary justice, monsieur. Seize him! We should split up. I'm not sure that's... Less chance we both get caught that way. I suppose that's true. We'll rendezvous inside. If you get a shot at Germain, you take it.
Japanese built himself quite a fortress. I can't see any weak spots. What the hell was that? as well. This is quite the reunion. Stay hidden. Keep him talking. Almost free. I can take him. No, you can't. Not alone. Wait for me. I'm sorry. Elise! Bravo, you've slain the villain. That is how you cast this little morality play in your mind, isn't it? Oh, I'm not really here. I'm not really there either. At the moment, I'm bleeding out in the floor of the temple. But it seems the father of understanding has seen fit to give us this time to talk. Ah, a particular favorite of mine. I did not understand the visions that haunted my mind, you see. Great towers of gold, cities, shining white as silver. I thought I was going mad. And I found this place. Dr. Molay's vault. Through his writings, I understood. Understood what? Somehow, through the centuries, I was connected to Grand Master de Molay. Had I been chosen to purge the order of decadence and corruption that had set in like rot, and to wash the world clean, and restore to the truth the father of understanding intended. That seems to have gone over well. Prophets are seldom appreciated in their own time. Exiled in the basement forced me to reevaluate my strategy find new avenues for the realization of my purpose. No matter the cost. A new order never comes without destruction of the old. 
And if men are made to fear untrammeled liberty, so much the better. A brief taste of chaos will remind them why they crave obedience. It appears we part ways here. Think on this. The march of progress is slow, but it is inevitable as a glacier. All you've accomplished is to delay the inevitable. One death cannot stop the tide. Perhaps it'll not be my hand that shepherds mankind back to its proper place. But it will be someone's. Think on this when you remember her. The creed of the Assassin Brotherhood teaches us that nothing is forbidden to us. Once, I thought that meant we were free to do as we would, to pursue our ideals no matter the cost. I understand now. Not a grant of permission, the creed is a warning. Ideals too easily give way to dogma. Dogma becomes fanaticism. No higher power sits in judgment of us. No supreme being watches to punish us for our sins. In the end, only we ourselves can guard against our obsessions. Only we can decide whether the road we walk carries too high a toll. We believe ourselves redeemers, avengers, saviors. We make war on those who oppose us, and they in turn make war on us. We dream of leaving our stamp upon the world. Even as we give our lives in a conflict that will be recorded in no history book. All that we do, all that we are, begins and ends with ourselves.
You did good work, Initiate. Until we contact you again, the best you can do is continue searching Arnold's memories for anything else you might have seen, like rare historical data, more DNA samples, anything to help our cause. We'll be in touch when we need you. Count on it.